my chuck up, my favourite hole, Sanu. Where's the name? It's got a name up here. S A N O U. Sanu Six Jaw Chuck. And as I mentioned before, this is my favourite chuck. I can really get it close to accurate, but now I've I've got a bit of oil everywhere because I've oiled it all up and probably being a tractor mechanic, too much bloody oil. I should take oil cans off us, some of us followers, eh? But what we're looking to do here is I've got the backing plate on the chuck just nipped up and when I made the backing plate years ago I made the shoulder a little bit smaller so I can bump this around a little bit to um, try and make it accurate. So what we're looking to do here is, oh I've got a, um, I've got a broken cap, like a 3.8 cap shank in there, I'm believing that's okay. And look, straight out of the box, we're, uh, we're bang on, we're three thou, three thou out, it appears. Can you see, you can't really see the clarity of the gauge there, can you? It's getting a bit washed out, perhaps over there. Okay, so look, all I'm doing here is I'm winding the dial to zero. So I know we're on zero, and the little dots where I marked before, I'll just make sure she's sitting back there. The little in witness marks I put there just happen to be straight out this way. So this jaw here, um, and I'll just mark it. That jaw there. Is the low spot that there is the highest spot? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top key in or a key in, doesn't matter which key and that gives me a chance then to just back these just to back these screws that hold the chuck to the backing plate off a little and we don't want them real loose we just want them we want them loose enough that we can bump the front of the chuck around okay I think that's it. That. Okay, let's go through that whole exercise again. So we're looking for the low spot. I've probably moved a little bit there already, I see. So now the low spot is there. And we'll bring it down round to the high spot. So by loosening it off, we've gone from three thou to three and a half thou. <coughs> I mean, so what I'm going to do here is oh, that's one and a half thou. I'll just try and nip that up if I can. Just to stop it from moving while we do our tests. Okay, let's do that exercise again then. Okay, that's the low spot there. So we'll put that on zero. And as the needle comes up, that means the chuck is this way, too far. Oh, look at that, I've made it way worse. So what do we have there? Five, six, seven. 
So I'll see. It's a little bit firm. Oh, come on, Gertie. I'll go the other way, undo. The other undo will be fine. Okay, now we've loosened the screws off again. We'll reset our zero. We'll try and take half of that. That's about six. That's three. So if we zero, zero that, and then go 180. There we go, we have like one and a half thousand major. That's about three quarters. We'll come in again. Let's see what we have. There we go, about, about there's three quarters of a fair. Oh shit, you ever get that feeling you went too far? Yep. There's that three quarter of a thou again. We'll come up, we'll reset our zero just to make sure. Oh, come on Gertie. Okay. Now you gotta love that. Okay, I will nip that up there and we'll do another test. Make sure we haven't moved it at all. That is, buddy, it's not half a fair. I'm not sure how good you can see that. I wonder if we zoom in a bit. Will that help? Okay, I'm going to tighten that right up now. Okay, that's FT, so now we'll come around, we'll find zero, there it is. Maybe half a fair, maybe. Half a fly shit, okay. That chucks back on, I've done the setup so I can take it off and on now because it goes on that D1-4 taper and the pins lock in, so... I'll probably zoom him straight back out again, and that's it. So, just for shit and giggles, we'll start him up, make sure I've got no drives in. 
Might even turn it on. Oh, you gotta love that. Okay, that's one job done. Okay, now we've got our chuck back on. Here's one of these screws, and what I do if the shaft is good and worth usable again, I turn the head off and I can press that old shaft into one of the new knobs. So I'll just run through the exercise here. I'll shift my chair, and away we go. Pretty messy. Beautiful. Right now on these old shafts, this knurl here, and I might, can you get a bit of better look at that? This knurl here is quite coarse, and when I go and try and feed it into my new knobs at a quarter inch, it's very hard to press in. So I just take a little bit of that off the top, and that seems to go okay. That's just a small, small leading edge. Okay, we'll pop across to the harbour press. <coughs> okay, you probably have a fit doing this when I'm just hand pressing down in through a collet. Probably not best practice, I know, but it's just, it's, it's a good way of supporting a thin brass shaft here. I've got too much chunk here, haven't I? So we just pop that in. I can't see what you can see. Hang on. Okay, now I can. So I just put that in there with a bit of oil on it. and That's it. That's pressed in. So what we might do now, that's old shaft new knob and um i'll just shift this handle out of the way there's a drop you know it's a genuine bundy bear shed video when i drop shit and we'll go and sit this in the mill and we'll show you how we've put the little lines on okay you've seen us do the press the shaft into here now we've got it set up i've got a 1.9 millimeter um little end mill there and I'm spinning it as fast as my little mill will go, M2, so that's 1970 RPM. I'm taking it down until I just touch off with the, with the, well, I can just see a, a slight chip just touching off, and then I'll go down 15 thou by the DRO in the front of my milling machine. So I'll start him up and we'll just look for our zero mark.
comply with the air. That's looking okay. Okay. So we pull the pin and wind 30 degrees. Put our rotating pin in again. Take it back to zero.
Okay. That looks pretty good. We'll just wind him out of range there so we can pop this off. This is a little Chinese BSO um, dividing head I bought off eBay ages ago and I pulled it apart. I did a video on pulling it apart and checking it out and it seems good. But there you go. I can get that in the light even. Holy, give you a bit of woody or what? Okay, that's how I've done the knobs. So that's an old shaft, new knob. And yeah, that's just a little bit of machining. <laughs>